Now, this is a double-edged sword. Basically, less camber angle, you're going to have better braking. Your car is going to stop a lot faster. But your cornering is not is going to suffer a little bit. So you have to find a happy medium with this uh, between braking and cornering. So what I would do is I would do this in increments of one. Now set it one one, take it out, you know, and keep raising this until you're starting to have a weird reaction where your brakes don't feel too good. Something's going to give. Either your rear's going to start kicking out or your front's going to start braking in a straight line. When you get to, you know, your car's braking in a straight line, that's obviously you got too much camber on the front. Take it back 0.5. If it's still doing it, take it back another 0.5 until you find a sweet spot. For the rear, if your rear, you know, is, is starting to kick out on braking, or, you know, you're accelerating out of a corner and it's just a little she's not really printing down the power and the tires are spinning start taking this down by five you know um i rarely ever go above three on these but you know a lot of times you, i will have tunes that are like you know 1.0 and 0.5 so try it in increments of one until you get to that point of where either the front's starting to feel bad under braking or the rear's feeling bad under braking and then start backpedaling it.